It's been a traumatic day for those living in Ovando. I've been talking to residents all day and their responses are all the same. They're shocked that something like this would happen in their small town. This is just devastating. Um, it's a big biking community and uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Ray Francis has lived in Ovando for 25 years and he says this has never happened before. Not like this. This is an anomaly. The Powell County Sheriff's Office says the bear wandered into the campsite a few times before that fatal attack. Fish, Wildlife and Parks helicopters are still searching for that bear that killed a woman while she was alone inside her tent. For now, we're fairly confident that the bear is not in the immediate area, but we have taken steps. Fish, Wildlife and Park has taken steps to uh, hopefully trap the bear and we'll continue to monitor it. Local resident and saloon owner Tiffany Zavarelli says she was shocked when she heard the news. Something like this just kind of shakes us and, and this is a small community and more so than a community is a family. So it's a small group of people. Um, so it's a little nerve wracking. But she says it's already brought the town of less than 100 people closer together. I think that there's a sense of unity with all of us. We're all in contact with one another and I think from my husband and I's standpoint, we just want the community to know that we care and that we're here if they need anything at all. Helicopters will go up again at dusk to search for the bear. And officials have closed a campground in Avando through Sunday. In Avando, Tessinato, Monte. <clears throat> Shalom, Brother Kabad back in our GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before going further, I'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, the bonus to our apostles. The elder is a great millstone for teaching us his truth. And there's going to be more um, um, situations like this. And the Bible speaks about these things happening. Uh, first of all, how are you going to go find a bear? How, how do you know which bear did it? You know? <laughs> it's just mind-boggling. So they go, pick a bear out. Okay, this is the bear that did it. Come on, man. But anyway, it says the bear pulls... A hey, Calif California, I guess CA stands for California, cyclist out of her tent while she was camping in Montana and kills her. And and these things are prescribed for the wicked, especially you wicked Israelites. <coughs> if you haven't uh, got the memo, we're in a time of judgment from the God of the Bible. So uh, I'm not quite sure I'm tired of this lesson, but scratch some precepts, wrap it up, make it quick. It's Jeremiah th uh, 15 and 3, and I will point over them four kinds, say of the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. All right, and that's what you're going to see happen a lot more in these last days, because iniquity is increasing, wickedness is running rampant throughout the four corners of the earth, mainly because the wicked is ruling, Job 9 and 24. So the Lord is tired of it. The Lord is bringing this man's rulership to an end. And everyone who's wicked, according to you Israelites, so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, the sinners, you're going to get uh, destroyed, man. And the Lord's going to have all types of terrible ways for you to perish. All right. And this woman was in her tent. Now, if you know the bear been coming back and forth, back and forth, why would you continue the tent there for one? <laughs> but hey, the Lord put the spirit on her to keep doing that. And um, it ultimately led to her, her death. The, the, the bear uh, killed her. And that's a horrible way to go. Horrible way. Horrible way. Okay. Um, you watch that uh, movie, The, the Rep Revelant, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, you know, forgive me, but the, in the beginning the scenes when the, the bear mauled, mauled uh, who was it, Leonardo DiCaprio, I believe it was? And uh, it was gruesome, man. And maybe I should have put that scene in, in this lesson, but you, you can look it up for yourself. But let's grab another precept. Let's go to... Um, <clears throat> Amos 5 and 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Yeah, the ones who haven't been doing what the Lord has required of them. Remember, in Deuteronomy the 10th chapter, the Lord has requirements for Israel, so-called Negro Latino Native Americans. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. We read the prophecies. We are those people, contrary to what everyone else tells you. All right. It says, what unto you desire the day of the Lord? 
<clears throat> what end is it for you? Okay? You've been being wicked your entire life. You've been up under these false uh, 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 religions, Christianity, being Catholics, Methodists, Baptists. What end is it for you? You haven't been doing what the Lord commands you to do. Keep his laws. Have faith. Okay? Verse 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Okay, so ain't no one getting past a lion or a bear. And that bear is what consumed that, that, that woman, man. Bears have sharp, I mean, razor sharp claws. And their teeth, I mean, a, a, a bear is an amazing animal, man. And a strong animal. It can climb trees, it can swim. So, I mean, this 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 is a bad animal that, that, that Yahweh Bashim Yashah created. And these things are going to come for our people. You got to remember, if you live in North Carolina, we have bears here. We have bears. We have wolves. Okay, we have, uh, you know, different types of beasts like that, foxes. That's going to get Jake, man. They, it's going to happen. Now, you can also relate this precept as, you know, you, you fleeing from one situation to the next. And, you know, you're just not going to be able to escape the Lord. What Yahweh Bashim Yahushua has prescribed for the evil days, for the wicked of our people, they're not going to be able to escape it, man. They're not going to be able to escape it. It reads on, Amos 5 and 19, If a man did flee from a lion, a bear met him, or went into the house and laid his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Okay, so pretty much you're not escaping. There's no escaping the clutches of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Let's see here. Um, uh, what was that other one? Um, give me one second. No. That wasn't what I was looking for. I believe it's in Second Ezra. What I'm looking for. Let's see if we can find it and close it out on that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, uh. Wasn't what I was looking for, but we'll read, we'll read this one and close it out. Because <clears throat> it's going in the same thing. The things that's going to happen. It's uh, Sirach 39. This is prophecy. Sirach 39, 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out the force, their force, and appease the wrath of, of them, of, of him that made them. All right? So they're going to appease the wrath of the Lord, because the Lord, okay, was the created everything. You get a blueprint to Yahweh Shad, and, you know, Yahweh Shad, the angels, got busy you know we could be some of those men that helped create these animals all right but um that bear was a a, a spirit created for vengeance verse 29 says fire and hell and famine and death all these were created for vengeance so you can have a lot of people die from the fire the icbms the chariots of the lord when they come back hell and famine a lack of food bread and water it tells you about the famine in matthew the 24th chapter and to pretty much just wrap it all up in one death okay that's vengeance coming from the Lord so verse 30 it says teeth a wild beast you know, the jaws of a bear man you don't want to be in that you don't want to be in the, in, in the jaws or the claws of a bear it says and scorpions alright something so small but has the power to sting you and kill you Serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. So we know this is lined up <coughs> for wicked, for the evil ones of our people. You should be repenting. Repenting, repenting, repenting. 
And that's something that you you got to do each and every day. Because there's times where you just you don't even realize you went off. And you have to constantly repent. And have faith in your how about Shimei Shai. That's what the word calls God in Jesus Christ. Because judgment is going forth. So that was a quick lesson through the Spirit. You know, Lord, we have to edify and take time I say. Shalom.